NordVPN did a thing, and now video happen. Chapter 16. We ran happily to Hogsmeade. There we saw the stage where Good Charlotte had played. We ran in happily. My Chemical Romance were playing Helena. I was so f***ing happy. Gerard looked even sexier than he did in depictions. Even Draco thought so. I could totally see him getting an erection. I was wearing a black leather mini dress and black leather platinum boots with red ripped fishnets. Draco was wearing a black baggy MCR t-shirt and black baggy pants. Anyway, we stated moshing to Helena. We French. We ran up to the front of the band to stage dive. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the others. We gasped. It was Volsimort and Da Death Dealers. You moronic idiots! He shouted angstily. Inobi, I told you to kill Vampire. Thou have failed. And now I shall kill thou and Draco. No, no, no please. please. We begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew in on a broomstick. He had long black hair and a long black bread. He was wearing a black robe that said Avril Levine on the back. He shot at a spell and Vladimort ran away. It was dumbly dumb. Chapter 18. Author's note. I said stop flaming. If you do, then you are a f prep. Thanks to Raven for the help and stuff. You rock. And you are not a prep. Thanks for Miss Weta. P.S. The other reason Dumbledore swore is cause he trin to be gothic so dear. I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, and blood bed lipstick. The night before, Draco and I ran back to the skull. Get it? Skull cause I'm gothic and like death. Dumbledore chased Vladimort away. We flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. <laughs> the broom stuff? <laughs> there was lace all over it. Draco had a black MCR boom. We went back to our rooms and we had you know what to a Lincoln Park song. Well anyway, I went back to the Great Hall. There all the walls were painted black and the tables were black too. But you could see there was pink pant underneath the black pant. There were pastors of poser bands everywhere like Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys. What the f***? I shouted. Vampire, Dracula, and Draco came. We started to talk about who was sexier. Mikey or Gerard Way or Billy Joe Armstrong. The boys joined in because they were by. Those guys are so f***ing hot! Naval was saying as suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. Dumbledore? We all gasped. What the f***? I shouted angrily. I thought he was just wearing that to scare Volsimort. Hello, everyone, he said happily. As you can see, I gave the room a makeover. What ya do you think about it? Everyone from the poser table in Gryffindor started to cheer. Well, we goths just looked at each other, all disfusted, and shook our heads. We couldn't believe what a poser he was. By the way, you can call me Albert. He called as we left to our classes. What a f***ing poser! Draco shouted angrily as we we to transformation. We were holding hands. Vampire looked really jealous. I could see him crying blood in a gothic way. Get it? Like Gerard. But I didn't say anything. I bet he's having a midlife crisis, Willow shouted. I was so f***ing angry. Chapter 20. I said, I don't care what you think. Stop flaming, okay, preps. Thanks to Raven for the help. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'll be on vacation in Transylvania for the next three days, so do not expect updates. I slit my wrists while I moshed MCR in my bedroom all night, feeling excited. Suddenly, someone knocked on the door. I got all mad and turned it off. But sacredly, I hopped inside that it was Draco so that we could do it again. It was Lupin. Are you gonna come me or what? I yelled. I was allowed to say that because Dumbledore had told us to be careful around him and Snape since he was a pig. No, actually. Get it? Hell. Can I borrow some condoms? 
he growls angrily. Yeah, so you... Huh? I shouted sarcastically. F***er, he said, gong away. Well, anyway, I put on some black <laughs> eyeshadow, black eyeliner, and some black lipstick and white foundation. Then, I went. <laughs> then I gasped. Snake and Lupin were in the middle of the empty hall, doing it, and Dobby was watching. Oh my, oh my god, god, you god, ludicrous, you ludicrous idiot. idiot! They both shooted angrily when they saw me! Dobby ran away, crying. <laughs> Normally, I would have been turned on. I love seeing guys do it. But both of them were f***ing preps. What the f***? Is this why you wanted condoms? I asked sarcastically. See, I spelled that. Only you wouldn't give them to me, Lumpkin shouted angrily. Well, you should have told me, I replied. You dimwit. Snake began to shoot angrily. And then I took out my black camera and took a pic of them. You could see that they were naked and everything. Well, excuse me. Well, excuse me. They both shouted angrily. What was that all about? It was to blackmail you, I snarked. So now next time you see me doing it with my boyfriend, you can't f***ing rat me out or I'll show this to Dumbledore. So f*** off, you bastards. I started to run. They chased me, but I threw my wound at them and they tripped over it. Well, anyway, I went outside and there was Vampire looking extremely f***ing hot. What the f***? Where'd Draco? I asked him. Oh, he's being a f***ing bastard. He told me he wouldn't come. Vampire said, shaking his head. You want to come with me? To the concert? Then, he showed me his flying car. <laughs> I gasped. It was a black car. <laughs> he said his dog father, Sirius Black, had given it to him. The license plate on the front said MCR666 on it. And the license plate on the back said Inobi. I gasped. We flew to the concert hall. MCR were there, playing. Oh. Vampire and I began to make out, moshing to the music. I gasped, looking at the band. I almost had an orgasm. And then, I heard some crying. I turned and saw Draco crying in a corner. Author's note. F*** you, okay? You f***ing suck. It's not my fault if it's spelt wrong, okay? Cause dead raven, cause it f you preps. Uh, was Soz Raven Fangs for the help? By the way, Transylvania rocks rad. I got to go to the castle where Dracula was filmed. Draco was crying in the common room. Draco, are you okay? I asked in a gothic voice. No, I'm not, you fucking bitch! He shouted angrily. He started to run out of the place in a suicidal way. <laughs> I stated to cry, because I was afraid he would commit suicide. It's okay, Anobi, said Vampire comfortly. I'll make him feel better. You mean you'll go f*** him, won't you? I shouted angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Draco, please come. He began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. <laughs> I was so turned on, because I love sensitive bi guys. If you're a homophone, then f*** off. And then, we heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his black invincibility coke. We both got <laughs> under it. We saw the janitor, Mr. Norris, there, shouting angrily with a flashlight in his hand. Who's there? He shouted angrily. We saw filth come. He went under the invisibility cloak and started to meow loudly. Wow. Is anyone there? Yelled Mr. Norris. No f you preppy little pose, son of a bitch. Vampire said under his breast in a disgusted way. Excuse me? Excuse me? Who said that? Yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Wow. Filch, is there anyone under the cloak? <laughs> he asked. Filth nodded. Wow. And then, Vampire. French to me. He did it just as Mr. Norris was taking off the cloak. What the? He yelled. But it was too late, because now we were ruining away from him. And then, we s 
And then we saw Draco crying and busting into tears and slitting his wrists outside of the school. <laughs> Draco, I cried. Are you okay? <laughs> I guess, though. Draco weeped. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid on the gothic red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my eyes rolled up and suddenly I had a vision of something that was happening now. Ad begin. <laughs> What's that? That's the FBI. We've just sent a record of your internet history to your family and friends and acquaintances for them to laugh at. Now your life is over. This wouldn't have happened if you had got NordVPN. Keep those degenerate websites a secret. Look at this guy, he uses NordVPN. Look how happy he is. He's fucking ecstatic. It's so simple and clean. There's no complicated setup or technical stuff. It comes with unlimited bandwidth. You can even access international content. For example, let's go to Japan. Oh dear. It took me almost two months to make these videos and it wouldn't have been possible without NordVPN. Nord you get access to more content and I get a kickback when you sign up. So remember to smash that link button with your parents credit card in the description below. But what is a VPN, you may ask? Add over. Chapter 22. Well, anyway, I woke up the next day. I was wearing black lacy leather pajamas. Then I gasped. Standing in front of me were Bloody Mary, Vampire, Diablo, Draco, Dracula, and Willow. I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Vampire was wearing a baggy simple plan t-shirt. So were Crab and Goyle. Oh my f***ing god, I yelled it as I jumped up. Why the f*** are you all here? Inobi, something's really f***ed up, Draco said. Okay, but I need to put on my clothes first, I shouted angrily. It's alright. We have to go now, and you look kawaii anyway. You're so beautiful, Draco said in a sexy voice. Oh, right, I said smiling. But you have to tell me why you're being all erective. I will, I will, he said. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow, and white foundation. Then I came. <laughs> we all went outside the Great Hall and looked in from a window. Inside the Great Hall, we could see Dumbledore. Cornelia Fudge was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rumbridge was there too. You are not fit to be the principal any longer, yelled Rumbridge. You're too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. You must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Very well, Dumbledore said angrily, but we cannot do this. We cannot close the school. There is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort, and she is in the school, and her name is Inoni <laughs> Darkness <laughs> Dementia <laughs> Raven Way. Draco <laughs> Draco Crab, Goyle, Darkness, Vampire, and Baludi Mary looked at each other. I gasped. Chapter 23. Author's note. Uh, <laughs> shut the f*** up, bitch. That sums up this whole thing the best. I opened the door, and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stopped out angry. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was Vampire. He and Draco were shooting at each other. I want to shit next to her. No, I do, shouted. No, she doesn't f***ing like you, you son of a bitch, yelled Draco. No, f*** you, because she leaves me, not you, shouted Vampire. And then he jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on a broomstick. He had no nose and was wearing a grey robe. All of the glass in the window flew through fell apart. Brittany, that 
and Prep started to cry. <laughs> Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shopped eating. The room fell silent. Volzimort! Ebobi! Ebony! He said evilly in his raspy voice. Thou hath failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill vampire as well. If thou dost not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Uh, please, don't make me kill him. Please. I begged. No, <laughs> he laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. <laughs> then he flew away cackling. <laughs> I bust into tears. Suddenly, my eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. I said I see a black gothic skull and a pentagram. Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said. Die! Think again, you f muggle poser! Thanks again to NordVPN. NordVPN slash internet historian for 77% off.